I did. I'd, I'd read the book sort of in my late teens, and I was kind of amazed when I came back to it last summer before we started shooting the film. It's just so different than I remembered it. I remembered it as, as being very beautiful and as Anna being this kind of victim and almost saintly. And actually, when I came back to the book, I went, oh, that's not how I first saw it at all. So I guess it's like any great piece of literature. You know, it changes as you change and you take different things from it. I wish I got to keep the jewels. The jewels were great. Um, unfortunately, they came with a very nice security guard, so I didn't kept to keep, keep any of them. Um, no, you know, I mean, costume is such a massive part of, of film. Um, and Jacqueline Duran, the costume designer, is um, she was the same one on Atonement and Pride and Prejudice, and, and she's just sensational. But well, I think the whole concept behind the film is very different. It's a very theatrical telling of the piece, so it's not naturalistic. It's sort of set in this mostly in one set that is is kind of a fantasy version of a theatre. Um, which I think can sound quite frightening, but I, I think his whole concept of the whole thing was, was to say, okay, well, how do you make everything in this tell the story that we wanted to tell? So not just the actors, but every piece of costume, every bit of scenery, you know, is, is, um, has some sort of symbolism for the story or something. So um, it was a very interesting process trying to create all that. Um, I think if any actress actually got asked to play Anna Karenina, I think, you know, it's one of those roles that you just have to say yes to. So, I mean, I, I think it's because of the complexity and, and the beauty of the story. Um, so, yeah, I think as soon as Joe phoned me up and said, do you fancy it? I said yes. <laughs>